Okay, so I'm right here at a cemetery and it is pitch black. I'm, I'm inside of a cemetery. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm doing, I'm doing some patrols. And I did take a few photographs uh, and there was some unusual activity in the photographs. And this particular cemetery that I'm at is known for all kinds of crazy activity. So, documenting this patrol this is the this is the mausoleum and um, it's of course it's locked and it's quiet but people have been known to speak right here they're probably speaking now and of course I am been spoken to before by disembodied whatever people you might say and there's no one there you know um, you know I have a friend of mine that's buried in here somewhere he's in here somewhere and I don't know I have to find out where he's at but was chasing him. I don't know, maybe the virgin was chasing him. The virgin? virgin? The virgin? Um, I don't know. I mean, I tried to call some spirits out yesterday, you know, just to talk to them, but nobody was talking to me. Uh, but I'm sure they're talking like crazy. 
crazy right now, but I just can't hear it here. A lot of people hear a lot of stuff in this cemetery. They hear a lot of stuff. They hear voices. Like we had a vehicle coming here, and my partner got out and he started talking to these people in this vehicle. And uh, we thought that they're probably ghosts because the vehicle came in here and we were we were trying to pull them over and all that and they didn't pull over they just kept ignoring us and uh we pulled up behind them which is like straight ahead we pulled up behind that vehicle and you know my guy was talking to them and all that and uh he was talking to these people and, and none of them were none of them it was a man and a woman like a young couple they weren't talking back they were just looking at him and uh, that that was creepy because it was a real car real license plate but they were just acting creepy themselves you know so it just it didn't it wasn't right it just it didn't make any sense i didn't hear them say anything and my guy said that my guy actually said that when he was talking to them he was looking at it the guy had red eyes like bloodshot red eyes and so did the female and um, basically, uh, they didn't say a word, and he said that his legs were frozen, like he couldn't move, and I was with him, I was right next to him, well, I was on the other side of that vehicle, I didn't, the only thing I felt was, I said, this is strange, I said to myself, what was strange was that, uh, they, they didn't, I didn't hear anyone talk in that car, nobody spoke. That's what was strange. And the car, we followed it out and it still hung around on the outside of the wall of the cemetery. And we said, well, he said, hey, you know, you guys gotta go, man. I just told you to go. And they, he, they, it's like he was ignoring us, but he finally left really slowly. And um, that was it. Uh, but I mean, personally, Maybe they were just high. I think I think that they were just high. It was a couple that was, you know, they were high on marijuana and, you know. But what was weird is they found their way inside of the this cemetery, and uh, the story goes is that some people called and said they were trapped in here, that they couldn't get out of the cemetery, and um, so one of our guys came over here to let them out, and he came in here and nobody was nobody was in here. Nobody was in the cemetery. And so, you know, could it, have been a prank? could it be a prank call? Maybe. Maybe it was a ghost. That ghost, maybe it was that same couple, you know. It could have been that same couple that we saw that was in here. You know, I mean, vehicles are known. You know, vehicles are known to to basically be solid, even with people in it, and then they could vanish just like that. You know, so so I just thought I'd throw that at you guys, but it looks quiet right now. I mean, I'm not c trying to call out demons or nothing, but you guys are my witness that this is what I do. This is what I'm doing tonight anyway. All right.